What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Tuesday, November 21st. Now we have some breaking news because we just found out this morning that CZ, who is the CEO and founder of Binance, is stepping down. Not only that, this Wall Street Journal lays down why he's stepping down and what fee he's going to have to pay to the SEC. If you don't know what's been going on, I'm going to make it very easy for you to understand because this is a very, very big deal in the whole cryptocurrency industry. CZ is one of the most well-known founders and leaders in this space. We do know that Binance and their headquarters is centralized in Dubai, but that has not prevented them from getting caught by the SEC. So with that said, if you want to find out what's going on, please smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So we do know, like, say, for instance, Sam Bankman fried was one of the recent founders of an actual crypto exchange that's been arrested and put in jail because he, with Alameda Research, literally took customer funds and spent it for their own personal use. So where does that leave Binance? Well, Binance was one of the people that declined to buy FTX because they saw their balance sheet and saw something really suspicious going on with FTX. But nonetheless, even though they deterred from that incident, they themselves find that they're in the center of the headlines within all news. So I wanted to share with you and loop back three weeks ago that Cynthia Loomis was actually warning people around Binance. I'm going to let her explain what this actually means because she brought this up in Congress during the cryptocurrency hearing and basically said to Elizabeth Warren, hey, we need to go after Binance and it's for these reasons. So I'm going to let that clip play right now. Furthermore, um, let's get after Binance and Tether. These are offshore companies uh, that are financing illicit uh, activities and terrorism. Um, we've got to prevent Hamas, Hezbollah, and other terrorist organizations from using digital assets, using cryptocurrency as a means to finance their activities. Now, let's turn for a minute to intermediaries like Binance and Tether. We know that Hamas and other terrorist groups have, on literally hundreds of occasions, been able to open accounts with Binance even after public reporting about the issue. Binance is knowingly facilitating violations of sanction laws and the Bank Secrecy Act by failing to carry out adequate customer screening when it is aware the exchange is being used to finance terrorism. So as you can tell, Cynthia Loomis and much of the congressmen here in the U.S. see Binance and CZ as somewhat doing suspicious activity. So what happened? Well, basically, they worked with the SEC to go after Binance. And for what reasons? Well, basically, what we found out this morning is that the CEO agrees to step down and pleads guilty. Now, this is per the article from Wall Street Journal. This is already shocking already because, again, we know who Binance is, huge leader in the space. So in this article, it said one thing, okay? And it said that the SEC charged Binance and its founder, CZ, in June with operating an unregistered exchange and misleading investors by using a Switzerland-based fund Sigma chain, which was also owned by CZ. That's just crazy right there. Now, to infiltrate the trading volume on Binance's US platform through 13 charges, and this is from the actual Gary Gensler SEC chairman. He says, we allege that Zhao and Binance entities engage in an extensive web of deception, conflicts of interest, lack of disclosure, and calculated evasion of the law. This is crazy. Okay, now this was said back in June of this year. People think that Gary Gensler was just saying this to go after every crypto exchange because, again, we kind of know that Gary Gensler is after cryptocurrency, not trying to literally regulate cryptocurrency within the U.S. and not trying to approve a spot between ETF. But this was something that we just didn't think was going to happen. And it really was true. And so that's why you're starting to see all these different the headlines literally come out saying CZ is pleading guilty to violating criminal anti-laundering laundering requirements, which is crazy. So the fact that he agreed to that just goes to show like he wasn't actually a pure clean guy. He isn't just somebody trying to lead the space. He was doing something to kind of manipulate the market. And so what we're kind of seeing is that right now, Binance, apparently from this whole case lawsuit, since CZ pleaded guilty, and since Binance is agreeing to pay the settlement, 
it's going to be $4.3 billion that they're going to be paying to the U.S. government because of that. And it could be going to the SEC as well. So $4.3 billion is one of the largest settlements in history that we're seeing any crypto exchange pay off to a U.S. government entity, which is kind of crazy. So that's something that's really making headlines. And right now we're finding out that possibly that the executive Richard Tang is possibly being reconsidered to replace the CEO. So we really got to look into what that actually means, because right now we got to look at the crypto market. How's the crypto market reacting to this? And what we're kind of seeing right here on the market, it's not really affecting it as much as we thought it would be. Like right now we're seeing Bitcoin still hold around 36,000, Ethereum still 1,900. Most importantly, if we look at Binance, it's down only 7% as of today. So it substantially hasn't dropped that much at all, but you have to pay attention to the market. Because right now when we're looking at the price, it did take a sharp dip after this news. So again, could we experience another pump after this? We don't actually know. And again, this is just news headlines out there. So keep in mind, now if we look over the past year, I mean, BNB, the token for the crypto exchange, has always been down for the past couple years, all because of the bear market. So really, I don't know if there's going to be any upside after this, but you have to be careful to not position yourself in a way where you're going to lose money. And that's why I really want to stress to everybody that this is something that we don't know what's going to happen with the BNB token, but it really, at the moment, has not affected the whole cryptocurrency market. And the last thing I want to share with you is that right now we know that the SEC is coming after the Kraken exchange, which is based in the U.S., only for listing Solana, the Matic token for Polygon, and ADA token, which is for Cardano, because apparently the SEC says that these are considered securities. But again, you have to do your own due diligence, do your own research, because you can only take what the SEC says with a grain of salt. This is regarding tokens, not founders. So keep in mind, this is something that is just breaking news I want to share with everybody, and this is kind of crazy. So this is CZ. He's stepping down. Um, Binance is agreeing to pay $4.3 billion over to the U.S. government. And also we're finding out that Richard Ting is going to be replacing possibly his position as CEO. So how crazy is this? Let me know your thoughts down below. What you think of this news? How does this affect the cryptocurrency industry? And can we trust foreign exchanges that are outside the U.S. to hold our funds? Well, I cannot wait to hear your thoughts and also your ideas around this, especially around Binance.us, which is based in the U.S. Are you going to still use that exchange? Well, I'm going to read those comments down below and I cannot wait to read them. As always, be sure to like up the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and both buy and sell orders, both NFTs and cryptocurrencies. Till then, we'll see you guys and girls next time.